Hi, Scotty and Mateo. Hey, boys. Are you ready to read a book? Okay. It's called The Rainbow Fish by Marcus Pfister. And he's I originally like rainbows. Hey, me too. Like rainbows. He's originally from Switzerland, and his first book, which he wrote in Swiss language, was yes, Der Rogen Bogen Fisch. Der Rogen Bogen Fisch. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Go. I'm ready. Let's go, Grandpa. Let's go. A long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish, but not just an ordinary fish but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. It's a big ocean. It's a big ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple with sparkly silver scales hmm. among them. But there was no yellow scales. No what? yellow. He had yellow lips. <laughs> the other fish were amazed at his beauty. They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, rainbow fish, they would call. Come play with us. But the rainbow fish would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow fish, rainbow fish, he called. Wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. Oh, please. They are so wonderful, and you have so many of them. How many does he have? Let's count. Count them. How many? One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen. Thirteen? What about the squiggly ones? What do those count? I don't know. You want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are? cried the rainbow fish. Get away from me. Oh, that's not very nice. He's selfish. What do you mean? He's mean. mean. Yes. Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset, he told all of his friends what happened. Did he cry? Probably. I would, I would cry. I would cry, too. Uh, from then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. They turned away from him when he swam by. That's mean. What good were the dazzling, shimmering scales with no one to admire them? Hmm. Now he was the loneliest fish in the entire so ocean. Sad. Now everybody's crying. This is a sad book. Hmm. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anybody like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish. Mm. But if you go beyond the coral reef to a deep cave, you'll find the wise octopus. Yeah, octopus? Maybe. How many legs does an octopus have? Octa. Octa. Oct. Seven? Eight. Oh. <laughs> Go. The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside, and he couldn't see anything. Then suddenly, two eyes caught him in their glare, and the octopus emerged from the dark. I'd rather have two eyes catch me than an octopus <laughs> like thing. Because if an octopus thing caught you, oh, that'd be really <laughs> scary. Because it was two eyes. Okay. I've been waiting for you, said the octopus with a deep voice. The waves have told me about your story. This is my advice. Give a little glitter scale to each of the other fish. Each of them. Oh, each of the other fishes. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea. But you will discover how to be happy. Oh, I like being happy. It's a sad book so far. We need to be happy. Yeah. We should be happy. I can't, the rainbow fish started to say, but the octopus had already disappeared into the dark cloud of ink. Ooh, ink. Give away my scales? My beautiful, shining scales? Never. How could I ever be happy without them? Hmm. Sad though. Suddenly, he felt the touch of a fin. Boink! The little blue fish was back. Rainbow yeah. fish, rainbow fish, please don't be angry. I just want one little scale. Which one? The rainbow fish wavered. Oh no. Only one very, very small shimmery scale, he thought. Just a small one. Well, maybe I wouldn't miss just 
One. Just one. One tiny little scale. Carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the little fish. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much, the little blue fish bubbled playfully as he tucked the shiny scale amongst his blue ones. Mm -hmm. A rather peculiar feeling came over rainbow fish. What For a it? long time, he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth and back and forth with his new scale glittering in the water. The blue fish whizzed through the ocean, his scale flashing. So it didn't take long before the other fish, before the rainbow fish was surrounded by the other fish. Everyone wanted a glittering scale. The rainbow fish shared his scales left and right. And the more he gave away, the more delighted he became. He was happy. He was a happy rainbow fish. Yeah. When the water around him filled with glimmering scales, he at last felt at home among the other fish. That's so nice. Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shiny scale just, left. Just one. His most prized possession had been given away, yet he was very, very happy. So come happy. on, rainbow fish, they all called. Come play with us. Here I come, said the rainbow fish, and happy as a splash, he swam off to join his friends. He's so happy. Yeah, look at him swimming there. Okay. The be, end. A, be a good little boy and share your shiny scales, okay? With Bio. With Bio, that's right. And the new baby monkey. Yeah. Okay, bye, what love you. What if the you. new baby's an octopus? Hmm. He'll have eight arms. <laughs> that would not be good. <laughs> bye. We love you.